everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tinager, and I am playing some <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> Don't question it. It's not worth it. Damn it. I was hoping you had a dog tag. See, it, it forces you to leave the room before this happens. President is dead. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Are you, though? Where do we go from here? Your mission was to rescue the president Are and you though, the terrorist threat. Bro? However, given the recent turn of events, we will honor the president's last directive. You must put a stop to Arsenal gear once and for all. Do you actually think there's any truth to his story about this big shell facility being a front for Arsenal gear? Oh, it absolutely is. I don't have the security clearance necessary to verify the facts. Really, dude? However, he was the president. I'm sure he knew what he was talking about. Aren't you forgetting that he was part of the terrorist plot? All the more reason why I believe his information is reliable. Huh? We're talking about a man who chose to die rather than risk a nuclear holocaust. Thanks to his sacrifice, the Nuclear Launch Authority has shifted to the Vice President, effectively eliminating the terrorist threat. Colonel, when you put it like that, it almost sounds like I should have assassinated the President to eliminate the threat. That was not my intention. Oh, uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> I was trying to point out that there is certainly some credibility to the words of a man who chose death to protect the innocent. The Colonel has a point, Jack. What about the information he gave me on the Patriots? That's a new one on me. I'll see what I can find out. <sighs> Raiden, we're running out of time. Find Emma. She's supposed to be located on level B1, in the core of that building you're in, right? You've got to find her before Arsenal becomes fully operational. Hurry, Jack. It's up to you to make sure that the President didn't sacrifice his life in vain. Understood. Raiden out. So there's another red flag right there, but I'll get to it later. Snake. The president, he's been assassinated. What? There was nothing I could do. What about the nuclear strike code sequence? He died before his vital ID could be reconfirmed. Then the enemies lost their nuclear strike capability. But that Ocelot guy obviously killed the president on purpose. Why? It doesn't David Hater sense. will always be they Snake. Know that they could Bite me. The nuke if they killed the president. Maybe there's a way to launch without reconfirming the vital ID. Or maybe they found a more effective weapon within Arsenal Gear. You knew about Arsenal Gear? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me about it? You never asked. <laughs> Am I correct in assuming you also know that the Big Shell's a front for the project? You mean, did I know that the Big Shell, a fully functional environmental cleanup facility, was designed to camouflage Arsenal Gear? Yeah, I did. It's exactly what the President and Ames described, a massive cover story. The good news is that it hasn't really done much in terms of cleaning up the environment. <laughs> so we won't have to worry about any toxic gas being released if we have to blow the house down. Right. And when did you find out about all of this? It took a while, but we uncovered the info around the time you took out that mad bomber. <sighs> There's no doubt that Arsenal gear is being built here. And it was all set up two years ago. On that day. All of it. Two years ago? I... What really happened here? Really want... This game, these from Snake's ago. perspective, these pictures, cut the scenes, news, everything. Websites. If I remember right, the reporters blamed you for sinking the tanker. Like actual cutscenes and right. everything. I do know Autocon, that there's that little like. Me. We were used. We'd hope that by going public, a little thing the on this version of the game. But... the government. At least that was the plan at the time. I've gone through VR training of the tanker mission before. Yeah. Well, I doubt it accurately simulates the events of that mission. I'd infiltrated the dummy tanker to obtain proof that a Metal Gear was under development. Shortly after I made it aboard, an armed group led by Colonel Gerlukovich raided the ship and gained control. Olga and Ocelot were among the raiding party. Yeah, and him. Who are you talking about? A man that was supposed to be dead. And causes texture issues on Ocelot's face. <laughs> but Ocelot eliminated Colonel Gerlukovich and Marine Commander Scott Dolph, and he hijacked Ray. So he betrayed them? I don't know what kind of deal was going down. All I remember is what Ocelot said at the time. Something like, I'm taking it back. Ocelot then sank the tanker, along with the soldiers of the Marine Corps. And all Gerlukovich's troops. Ger Gerlukovich? Ger How did you manage to get out? Can't say names. <laughs> I managed to have a small boat ready for me. That was the easy part. The tough part was not getting dragged down with a sinking tanker. Small miracle when you think about it. It turned out that the whole thing was a setup to lure us. 
photos of Snake, taken by the Cypher, were released to the public. In turn, we became the world's most wanted environmental terrorists. It was definitely a move aimed at putting a stop to our anti-Metal Gear activities. But why did they choose Snake? Since the Shadow Moses incident, Snake became sort of a hero. I think the Patriots weren't too happy about that. Hey! You hey! I did not use that gun against people, well, excuse you. Yes, to a certain degree. It seems Tranquilizers only. Knows about them except me. They didn't choose Snake to be a hero. So they decided to do a smear campaign. I think the Patriots wanted to make an example of him so everybody would think twice before opposing them. That's it! They set all this up just to nail you guys! Not really! No, there's more to it than that. The Marines Metal Gear Ray project, headed by Commander Dolph, was carried out in opposition to the Navy's Arsenal Gear project. To be more precise, the Patriots considered Metal Gear Ray to be a thorn in their side. Hence, they attacked the dummy tanker and stole Ray. Which means that Ocelot's working with the Patriots, they obviously. They up with the perfect plan. They immediately sent a fully loaded tanker to the same location and sank it. Then set up the facility to camouflage the development of Arsenal Gear. And we fell for it. Two more puppets in their show. There's so many reasons why all of that could not have gone off without a hitch. <laughs> Both fell victim to Ocelot's plot. Was Solidus behind all this? He used Ocelot to get hold of Ray, huh? No, he was underground, keeping a low profile at the time. Then it must be the Patriots. If that's the case, what's Ocelot doing alongside Solidus? Hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute. Forget it. We're wasting time. Got we can figure this out later. Now. The nuclear strike's been prevented, but Arsenal still has a massive payload of missiles to deal with. Right. If the opposition gets control of those missiles... Raiden, you've got to find Emma. Wait a second. Isn't Emma Emmerich... My sister. What's she doing <laughs> here? You got me. She's a computer whiz who specializes in neural AI and ultra-variable volume data analysis using complex logic. How she got involved in weapons development is beyond me. Hmm. She wanted to Whatever follow in her brother's footsteps. Her stop Arsenal. <laughs> right, find her. I'm on my way. Since, um... Since Otacon's the one who was the engineer for... Uh, the Metal Gear in the first game. So, of course, his sister's the one who engineered Ray. <laughs> I did that on purpose. It's funny. Uh, I had some th points I wanted to bring up, but now I forgot what they were because the cutscene was too long. <laughs> so, we're just gonna go get Emma. Oh, right. I also have to save because I didn't save after the end of the last video. Jack, do you need to save? Shut up, Rose. funny they the, the dynamic between Rose and Jack Jap. in this game is yes I'm skipping their sob story um is really poorly done in my opinion like he's in the middle of an infiltration mission Rose should not be contacting him to talk about their freaking relationship in the middle of it um and then Metal Gear Solid 4 happens, and they go on a complete smear campaign. They go on a complete rose smear campaign. Um, only to try and make it all better in the end. But, um... I just find it kind of funny. I mean, if I, if I ever get to Metal Gear Solid 4, you guys will hear my thoughts on that entire shtick. But... This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Rations are full. They won't be soon, because we're going to have to do a fight. What? <laughs> what do you want, Snake? Raiden, are you reading me? This is Otacon. What's your situation? Wet and miserable. This place is flooded. Yep. The seawater that's been pumped up is pouring into the building. I see. Listen, there's something I have to tell you about EE. E. Don't worry about her. 
I'll get her. About that. She's afraid of water. What? <laughs> yeah. When she was six years old, she almost drowned with my father in our swimming pool. She can't swim? Well, yes and no. We used to swim a lot together when we were kids. In fact, she swam like a fish until that day when she almost drowned. When the accident happened, I was in my room. I learned later that E.E. E. was calling me for help. She didn't doubt for a minute that I'd be there. And then he wasn't, because reasons. could see the pool from my room, but I didn't realize at the time that she needed my help. What were you doing? I... I was... So Emma survived the ordeal. Sleeping yeah, with her mother. But my father <laughs> didn't. So you blamed yourself and left your family? No. E.E. E. seems to believe that was the case. The fact is, I betrayed her. And you think she can't swim because of the traumatic experience? I haven't seen her since that day, but yes. I then how would you know that she I can't swim anymore? I got a letter from Julie, her mother, after they moved back to England. In her letter, she mentioned that E.E. E. couldn't swim anymore. Okay, well, that answers the question just had, She refused to even wear a bathing suit. Damn. If she still can't swim, we're in trouble. Level B1 in the core is pretty much flooded. Look, maybe you can help her overcome the trauma. You want me to help her get over? Don't really it? have time for that, Still but take whatever. Some time to repair the cam off. Sorry, kid. Emma's rescue is up to you. <laughs> Thanks. An underwater mission. Well, this is a first. Look, I'll see what I can do. I suggest that you drum the map of the building into your head, because you won't have time to look at it when you try to bring Emma out. I'm counting on you, Raiden. I covered most of the core when I had to take out the C4s. If there's anything you need to ask me, call me on the codec. I'll do that. So, one thing they, uh... Never really... Expl bomb. Um... Oh, I actually I need to go that way. Um... One thing they never really explained very well is why it's so flooded so quickly. Like, they're not... It, the game makes it seem like this is a water level, but it's not. Be one of the shell of um the center of shell of either shell also dead stillman um they're not at sea level all of the water that's flooding these areas of the big shell is water that's being pumped up from the seafloor because of the um fact that it's a fully functional cleaning facility but at the same time if this is supposed to be a cover for arsenal gear, why have all the stuff turned on? Like, I under- oh God, it's hard to control this shit. Um, I understand wanting to have a fully functional facility for when, you know, people who aren't supposed to know about arsenal gear come for inspections or whatever, but you don't need to have that shit on. <laughs> Like, you know, it doesn't need to be pumping water up and being on when you're just using it to work on arsenal gear. Whatever. <laughs> I need to not critique a game that's this old. Like, I fucking love this game! But man, do some of its pot points not make sense. Uh. Uh-oh. Can't go that way, right? <laughs> okay, time for the boss fight from hell. This fight is frustrating to try and do with tranquilizers only. I can't even remember if you can do this fight tranquilizers only. I mean, technically it wouldn't count as a kill. Because you can't kill Vampyr. Like, you can't kill him. He's in Metal Gear Solid 4. Oh god, please don't tell me your entire torso has screwed up textures. Still ticking, huh? Please no. His entire torso is screwed up textures, god damn it. Why is this game so hard to emulate? Why is this game so hard to emulate? <laughs> I mean, this version specifically is hard to emulate. Um, other versions are not. Apparently, if I was using the regular Sons of Liberty version, I wouldn't be having so many issues. I don't know why Substance has issues with emulation. I, did, I just didn't want to replay. 
I can even tell me which way a gun is going to be pointed before the trigger is pointed. Okay, Psycho Mantis. They're different. This should be fun. Well worth the wait. I... You knew I was coming? You've become a nuisance. I can't let you interfere with Arsenal gear. And you need to put your shirt on so it stops uh, glitching out on my emulator. The girl is just ahead. She is of no use to us now. But she served us well as the live bait for the big catch. Crazy Ivan sometimes speaks the truth. Is that supposed to be another name for Ocelot? Alive? I can't remember she who Crazy Ivan's supposed to be. Time ago, but the flooding has become quite serious. I wouldn't be surprised if she's a mermaid now. What? Did you really think killing the president would prevent a nuclear strike? Think again. I didn't do it. <laughs> Arsenal is still armed with a purified hydrogen bomb. Purified hydrogen bomb? Your snake is showing, Raiden. <laughs> Repeating the last this couple words no of an, anybody's sentence. Bomb. This weapon is capable of heavy hydrogen nuclear fusion using lasers and magnetics to generate heat insulated compression. It was a top secret project initiated by the current president, and Solidus has no idea of its existence. The clean thermonuclear bomb is at an experimental stage and is handled differently. Specifically, it becomes launch capable when Arsenal is activated. That's contrived. The nuclear threat still exists. That's contrived. <laughs> Six months ago, we lost everything we believed in. We were abandoned to take the fall in their cover up. We were labeled as killers, responsible for the mass murder of civilians, as well as our own allies. And the public believed every word, turning a deaf ear to whatever we had to say to the contrary. Our only goal is to wipe them from the face of the earth, and destroy this world of deceit they have created along with them. You're insane. Insane? We might be the only ones telling the truth. I mean, you're not wrong, but you're also still doing exactly what the Patriots want you to do, but... <laughs> Whatevs. Final check for activating Arsenal has been completed. All Arsenal personnel report to your stations. Well, it sounds like Arsenal's ready to go into operation. Is that the same announcer as in the tanker mission? The girl can Arizona Bridge checkpoint passed. <laughs> It's a shame you're not going to be around long enough to hand her the program. That isn't seawater, you know. It's a byproduct of the microbes contained in the pool. Buoyancy is practically non-existent thanks to the high oxygen content. Once you fall in, you don't come up. Take a good look at your grave. Show me what you've got. And yet Van can swim in it just fine because reasons. So yeah, you know what? <laughs> Fuck this guy. <laughs> he gets the grenades. <laughs> I am not dealing with this man. This man gets bombs. It's not a kill! The game may count as a kill, but it is not a kill because you can't kill Vamp. It's not a kill. Uh, why don't I- Oh, I unequipped the gun on accident, oops. There we go. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> I'm running out of bombs. I'm not gonna count this as a kill. You can't die here. Hush. <laughs> I'm just not dealing with this fight because this fight is a headache. <laughs> Rude. Did 
just blow myself up? Yeah. This is fine. This is fine. Come at me, vamp. Come at me, vamp! <laughs> I will cheese this fight. Ugh. I always forget that apparently he's like immune. Yes, I'm pulling out a stinger. When he has that red energy around him. Ah, come at me, vamp. Fuck you. <laughs> Where is he? Ah, tits. I'm out! <laughs> Uh, uh, just in case, <laughs> this man will not get near me. Where you at, vamp? Do I have any bandages? I do not. Not hitting him, excuse you. You can hit the knives out of the air. God, he is hard to keep track of. Got him. <laughs> See, I, I know that in theory there is a way that he can trank him, but man, is it annoying. And again, he can't die here. So it's fine. You were able to swim in it just fine earlier. Again, you were able to swim in it just fine earlier, Vamp. I don't know what you're belly aching about. It's not like you can die. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Yet, I should say. More codec calls. Colonel. They've apparently completed the final check procedure for Arsenal gear. Find Emma on the double. You've got to get her to install the virus program that the president gave you. When you find her, take her to the computer room on level B2 in the core of Shell 1. I... Snake, did you catch all that? I didn't make it on time. Arsenal's going active. Yeah, I heard. The hostage rescue's gonna have to wait. Yeah, they don't really have time to wait. Emma. We'll secure the computer room. Looks like we can't install the virus program without Emma. Can't your partner do it? I would if I could, but the security for this system is no joke. I need more time. That's why we need her. Understood. I'll make sure you have your family reunion. Uh, What's up? A lot of years have passed between E.E. E. and me. Then you should see her, right? I don't have the right to see her. We can talk about this later. <laughs> Thank Look, you, Snake. <laughs> I think you better get moving. Emma's in the locker room to the north, right? Snake is always the voice of reason. <laughs> See, the game wants you to use the rocket propel grenade. It's totally cheesing, but the game wants you to do it. <laughs> All right, let's go and get this dumbass. Oh fuck! I don't have a map for this. <laughs> Oops. Is that a box? Oh no, that's the body armor. Shit, I forgot about that. Makes you take less damage. Could have fucking used that though. I don't have a map. Bugs on the ground? Oh right, it's bug central time. Great. There we go, now I have a map. This is gonna end well. 
see here. Is she in here? Is she in here? You can tell on the map which one she's in. I know. <laughs> you guys are side-eyeing me right now, but... I'm going shopping. And by that, I mean I'm grabbing the C4 that I've never used. No. Ah, there we go. A book. I... <laughs> it's fun to mess with Emma. I like that it's, um, the cutscenes are not pre-rendered because it actually shows the body armor. Like brother, like sister. <laughs> Riding. I'm getting you I forgot out she's voice acted by Jennifer Hale. Get me out. You're lying. Where are you taking me this time? What are you talking about? I'm here to help. Here. I'll prove it. Do you have nanos? What? Well, do you? I do. Everybody on this project. You know why this though. is funny? Okay, good. Let's try. Emma Emmerich is Commander Shepard. That's why I giggled when I saw Jennifer Hale. Can you hear me now? <laughs> nano communication? Yes, Shepard! <laughs> I have nano machines too. Then you're not one of them. That's what I've been trying to tell you. And you came to rescue me? Actually, I need your help to stop Arsenal. I understand you're the only one who might be able to do it. And who told you that? The president. Really? I need you really? to come with Yeah, me okay, Shepard. Your brother's it's not time to be there. skeptical. My brother? Come on, we have to get moving. This place will be flooded soon. We gotta go, woman. We gotta go, Shepard. Let's get out of here, Shep. Shep, Shep. I'm just call her, gonna call her Shepard for the rest of the Let's Play. I don't know why we needed to slow-mo that, but I... Yeah, okay, game. We better move. I can't. I can't swim. Yes, you can. Leave me. You can swim. You used to love it. How do you know? Your brother told me. He's really here? That's right. He's here to rescue you. I don't believe you. He would never come for me. And yeah, okay, I'm Shepard. You he's here, waiting for us at Shell One. No! He left me, my mother, when we needed him the most. When my father died, all he could think about was himself. Emma, we can go over all that later, but first we have to get out of here. No! I hate water! Damn it, woman! It's hopeless! I can't swim! This is not the time to be talking about it. This place swim. is currently flooding. Do it. I can't! Come on, deep down inside, you know you can swim. I can't keep my eyes open in the water. Endless blue. The water, it, it wants me. It won't let me go. All right, then close your eyes. That line is ironic in like I, an I hour. With something. My legs. I have trouble moving them. Listen, Emma, just hold your breath. I'll do the rest. Great, we have to carry her. <laughs> First, we'll head to filter chamber two. Then we'll take a break. And all I have to do is hold my breath. That's right. How long? Just a little while. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. That's how I got here. I, I don't think I can do it. I'm not good at holding my breath. Look, Emma, I have an idea. Put your ear against my chest and listen to my heartbeat. Your heartbeat? Count the beats. <laughs> don't think about anything else. When you reach 100, open your eyes. By that time, we'll be on the other side. Give me a signal if you think you're running out of breath. What will you do then? I'll swim faster. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Ryden. Hang on tight. <laughs> this game tries to ship these two okay, so hard for go. like the brief time they're together. I'm closing my eyes. But Ryden has Take a girlfriend. <laughs> and uh. One. 
mother of his baby. Three. Wait. What is it? Uh, let me take off my glasses. You know, you should wear contacts. There's nothing wrong with my eyes. Hmm? I wear them for show. Trying to be different from the other girls? Raiden, this like is not that. the time for that. I like glasses. And there's this guy I like who used to wear them. Is his name Hal? No. Somebody more important. Anyway, they bring me luck. I see. Is his name Hal? <laughs> okay, let's go. This is gonna be fun. Alright, we out. Yeah, Emma has super low O2, which makes this a headache. Thankfully, you only have to do in two areas. So, I'm not going to go into the next room because it's going to trigger a bunch of cutscenes, and I've been recording for half an hour, which means I need to end the video. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I've been playing some Metal Gear Solid 2. I'll see you all in the next video.